Hello and welcome to Crafting with Tanya friends. This will be a short but video you would want to watch if you are looking to learn pattern fill, pattern fill with Inkscape. Yes, I mispronounce a lot of words and I will go back to re-pronounce them right because I have a spouse that likes to make fun of that so um let's begin so basically what i'm going to show you it works for um pictures well svgs fonts etc so i'm going to show you guys how to do it with font first and then i'm going to show you guys a quick way to bring black and white photos into inkscape and then use them as a pattern fill so let's begin we're going to click on the toolbar for the text we're going to insert just one letter and we're going to do a t for tie that is i <laughs> um we're going to enlarge it so you guys can actually see what i am doing i am going to actually change it to a path and now I am going to bring in a photo of whatever pattern, pattern, I'm not even saying that right, but um, whatever pattern I want to fill that T with. So I am going to basically, let me just go with this black queen here. Uh, she is not a PNG, so I do not really want to deal with her because what I want to show you guys I want to use the PNG image so let's just go with this baby shark do 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 little guy I'm going to just downsize him oh lordy And I'm going to bring him here. I'm going to make sure that I have him selected. And I'm going to go up to the toolbar where it says object. And I'm going to go down to pattern. So I want to go to object to pattern. Now that will be over here in the fill section here. So if this isn't already opened, um, I don't even remember how to open it. Mine is just always open. It's somewhere up here. Usually, I think it's always, always open. If it's not, just comment under here and I'll figure it out where it's at and I'll let you guys know. So, once you go to um, object and change your object to a pattern, your pattern field will be here and it's 1016. That is what it's called. So I am going to select my T. Why aren't you selecting my T? Really? Um, okay, there it is. I don't know what Inkscape was doing for a minute. So you want to select your T and then you're going to go to pattern fill. And now it is filled but my pattern basically fill in the outline because this is a font that sucks for this video. So let me go ahead and grab. Oh, Lordy. I have to grab a different font, but I can't change this because I already changed it to a path. So I'm going to delete that T and then just go ahead and redo another T. So once you change it to a path, basically you cannot change anything else about that um, font, I mean, or that letters you wrote or whatever you typed in. You're not going to be able to change anything about it once you create it to a path. Like you won't be able to use this spacing stuff here. None of that will work. So I have my other little T that is very ugly and I'm going to click pattern fill as you can see it actually fills the pattern but we can barely see it 
So we actually want to make a few changes to that. And the way you do that is you make sure your T is still selected. And then you're going to go over here to the, no the nodes, edit notes path tool. And you're going to select that. And then these three little things should pop up. It pops up anywhere on the screen. Normally it pops up around the picture you are you made into a path. So these three things do do ah, excuse me. They all do different things. The X here actually just moves your photo around. As you can see, now we can clearly see the cat. This circle moves it in any you know the direction, so sideways. And then this changes the height width. Remember when you're changing the width and the width or the height of anything, you want to select control so that it it be proportional. So if you don't select control, you can make this cat you know small, skinny. But it won't be proportional to the picture. To make it proportional, you hold down the control button before you start changing the size. So I have my T here. You can't really see my T because it is, it has no um, stroke paint. And so we're going to give it some paint so you guys can actually see it. And we're going to go here to stroke paint and just select it and it'll pull it up. You can change the stroke style. So we can make it smaller. And this is how you fill your pattern, your letters for um with the patterns and you can do you can go ahead and type a whole name in let's see you can go ahead and type a whole name in oh, I might just go like this change the font let's do this font Now we going to ungroup. Oops, sorry. Object to path. Ungroup. And then we're going to change the the fill of each letter to something different. So I'm going to just bring in, let's see. Toy Story. And this one. Remember to hold down control when you when you're changing the size, so you keep everything proportional. And we're gonna do the alien. And we're going to go to object pattern. Click on whatever you want to change it to a pattern. Object, pattern, object to pattern. I'm going to click on my J. I'm going to go to the fill. I'm going to go to pattern here. And then I'm going to locate whichever one I want. Which This is the Toy Story one. So we're going to go to edit nodes. And then we're going to make it smaller so we can actually see where it says Toy Story. You can make it as small and then you want to move it around. Give it some stroke paint. I'm going to actually change the stroke paint to a red. Change the stroke style. And then we're going to add a fill to here. And this is the way you can change each letter to something different.
and just keep on working with it till you get everything changed how you want and as you can see I have two letters this is great when you're making little things to place on people's tables or even banners cut them out on your cardstock put them on a banner piece of cardstock string them hang them and you have a custom banner made easy peasy paper crafting you can do so much with paper crafting so now that you know how to fill your letters in and you can fill each letter with a different fill I'm going to show you guys how to create um, a pattern fill using like uh, black and white coloring pages that you found on Google and you bring them into design space this is how I created the earrings the helmet earrings and the football earrings is using this method the pattern fill method I'm gonna make me some custom banners tomorrow you guys just getting my creative juices flowing making these videos but let's go ahead and delete all of this off of our canvas and I can show you guys how to do pattern fill using a Google page so this helmet and football I found on Google and then I brought it into design space to create the earrings that I made so let me just let me see if I got it something simple real quick I can do that hard, but I'm gonna do a black and white page for you. So we're gonna bring in this Christmas hat. Oh, no double click, drag and drop. All right, so, uh, so I have the Christmas tree hat here. And as you can see, it's not a PNG image. It's just a black and white picture that I got from Google. Um, what I'm going to do is go up here to Path, and we're going to go to Trace Bitmap. Now, you want a live preview so you can actually see what you're doing. And um, I just increase my threshold here. Leave it on brightness cutoff. And I uh, increase my threshold here just to increase my lines and make sure that all the lines are there. and it's a little thick so that's good for me I'm going to press OK and then exit out of there now I'm going to move this here and this is my old one now for you guys who just starting out you guys want to keep this so you know what you're doing I usually just delete it but go ahead and um, highlight the one that you just created and the way that you know if it's the one you just created or the original one you pulled in is that it becomes like a PNG so there's no background as you see when I move it around you can still see this line from my page but this one you cannot see the line because there is a background so you want to click and make sure that the one you just created is highlighted and you want to go back up to path and then we're going to go to break apart so once you click break apart what you want to do is get rid of this writing here because you don't need it so you're going to highlight and click delete and I know I said this video was going to be quick but uh, yeah I lied it's not my fault you guys I'm just trying to preach uh, I'm just trying to teach you so now what we're going to do is create these white spaces here so our hat here can look just like this hat here now you just click and change the coloring now basically what I just did is created an SVG using a black and white image that I got from Google. So if I was to take this image here, save as, and I save it as an SVG and bring it into my design space or my silhouette, then I'm able to cut this um, Santa hat layered. So I have this white layer here, this white layer here, this white layer, and I will have my black background. Now, if you change the colors, 
of this inst instead of white to red, oh, not my black. I don't want to change the black. I don't want to change the background. So if you change your white to red and make it the color of Santa hat, and then when you bring it into Inkscape, it's, of course, it's going to be red, your white layers, and your black layers. So basically, I just showed you guys how to create an SVG using black and white images in Inkscape. Um, I might create a in more in-depth video on this, so just stay tuned. So what we're going to do is just create, I mean, fill these white spots in with a pattern fill instead of a solid color. And again, you just do that the same way you did the letters. Here on the side, go to pattern, go to fill, go to pattern, and it already it's already on the baby shark. So we can get rid of this if you no longer need it. So I just keep it there for guides when I need it, but usually it's not there. So you just adjust it to your liking. And as you can see, you actually see the white background here on the baby shark. And I actually want to change that because I don't want the white, I mean the black, the back background from the hat to be the background for my baby sharks. So the way I do that is just click on the baby sharks and then right click, duplicate, and then just change the fill to whatever color you like and then just send it to the back until it's behind your um, baby sharks and then you can change that fill to any color so we can change it to a blue to make it look like he's underwater and then you'll just click here and you'll change the fill and you can just change the fill to each little setup to each little spot the way you want and of course we don't want a black background here so we're going to click, make sure you have the arrow tool selected and then right click duplicate and then we're going to change that background to whatever color we want to use so we're going to do a red then we're going to go up here to the toolbar and send it behind so now i done made me a new toy story baby shark hat and you can go ahead and change the puffball if you want you can do a solid color you can do a fill you know fill it with whatever pattern you want um so once you get your item created and your fills created however you like the thing you do to get it out of inkscape into design space our silhouette or whatever cutting machine you are using you want to sorry <laughs> you want to save as an a png so you want to export it as a png and the way to do that is you want to make sure you have the arrow tool selected and then you want to make sure you highlight everything you want to save and then you go to export it should be here on the side export png image if it's not then you'll go to file and export png image when you click this it will pull this up and you want to click you want to make sure let me go up real quick that export area is uh, selection is selected so whatever you have selected will be exported and saved to your PC. So you want to export as, you want to locate your folder, your file, whatever you're saving it to, and then you want to create a name and you want to click save. Now when you click save, as you can see it says, let me just add a name, fish. When you click save, the name change will be here. So once you click save, your file is not saved. If you do not click export, your file will not be saved to your PC. I um, sometimes forget to click export moving too fast and don't realize I didn't save my project until I go looking for it in my file folder. So make sure you click export. So once you change the name here, you want to click export and then your file will be saved and then you can use your PNG 
um, image in design space, Photoshop, wherever. You can even sell your PNG image. Um, whatever you're going to do with it. So this is how I create my pattern fills using Inkscape. Um, I showed you guys how to do it using letters. And I showed you guys how to do it pulling in black and white images from Google. So I hope this helped. And I hope you continue watching. Subscribe, like. Thank you. I said, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop talking to me.